Welcome to the session. My name is Smita, and I lead the product management team for Google Voice. Uh, and I'm Ajay. I'm a product manager at Voice. And we are here today to tell you more about the new Google Voice. But before we do that, we want to talk a little bit about the modern workforce. So we know that today's workforce is changing and changing rapidly. By 2020, which is next year, 50% of the workforce is expected to be mobile. And even if you look at what it looks like today, there are already there are 2 billion frontline workers, of course, which are not attached to any office or desk. But in the Fortune 1000 companies, the knowledge workers today spend 50% of their time away from the desk. So the workforce is really mobile. And the other thing which is happening is that the pace of innovation keeps accelerating. It took phones 50 years to get to 50 million users. It took YouTube four years. And it took Angry Birds three months. So, so we are living in this world where the workforce is really mobile and the pace of, pace of innovation continues to accelerate which means in order to have productive workforces, we really have to enable real-time communication from anywhere, anytime. But luckily, the time of cloud has come. Cloud sets us free. With cloud, people can work from anywhere on any device. At Google, as you know, we have always believed in the vision of cloud. G Suite is designed to be cloud native from day one. Within G Suite, we have been reimagining what communication looks like for this modern, fast moving workforce. And we have been working at it systematically. So, Gmail, which was a product which we launched in, which we launched in 2004, and we redefined what email should be like at that time. We have again, in a way, relaunched it last year with an intelligence-first design. We have added features like Smart Reply and Smart Compose, which means on your mobile phones, with one click, you can send a reply. We have added Nudging, a feature which I personally love. This is the one which reminds you to respond or follow up on emails. And when all of us living in these busy worlds in distributed time zones, that really has saved me quite a few times. We, we, are, we launched Hangouts in 2013. And in the last couple of years, we have taken that original Hangouts product and we have evolved it into two different products. Hangouts Chat, which is for enterprise team communications. Teams can go and set up virtual rooms. They can use bots to get a lot of the work automated while they are within that virtual rooms. And Hangouts Meet, I don't know how many folks made it to the presentation uh, pretty much before this one, which Rini led, talking about how we are making face-to-face -face, uh, virtual meetings so much more productive, and we are bringing everyone together in the same room, if you will, even though they're distributed across the world. So, so those, are some of the, those are the products which we have already worked on and we have talked about. Of course, today we want to talk to you about Google Voice. So phones are still really important. There are 8 billion phone numbers in this world, more than the number of people. So phones is still the universal way for us to connect quickly to our colleagues, to our friends, to our family. But if you look at the phone systems today for most organizations, they are still using these on-premise PBX systems, which are really, really hard to manage. This is an actual photo of what a phone room used to look like at Google. And we did not like it. We did not want to manage closets full of, full of equipment. So we decided to change it. And we worked on it. And it took us a long time. It actually took us six years, but we did it. So we got rid of the phones. And what we have right now is 85,000 Googlers are on Google Voice and 97% of our on-premise infrastructure is decommissioned. When we talk to our customers, when we talk to our G Suite customers, unsurprisingly, they were having the same challenges. In fact, when we talk to the customers, 50% of them said they're looking for a cloud telephony solution. 
and they said they had a 3x higher preference for getting it from us because they expect Google will provide their users with a cloud-native experience and will make management so much easier like G Suite has done. So we wanted to address that need, but we also know that voice is hard. Voice requires global scale. It requires connectivity with carriers in all markets, and it has really stringent quality requirements. So we took that, we, we, we took that, that challenge, we took that seriously, and we critically looked at what, what assets do we have. So this is something which surprises people, but I want to share with you is that today Google Cloud already powers billions of calls every year and hosts millions of phone numbers. And this makes sense when you think of our products. When you think of our products like click-to-call ads, so critical for mobile search. When you think of our products like uh, Google Fi, think about calling worldwide in products such as Google Maps and Gmail. So a lot of these are really mission critical. And we have been building this telephony network for 10 plus years. And you can see the, some of the stats there, which is 100 plus countries, 100 plus carriers and peering points, 18 billion minutes per year, 30 billion messages per year. So we have a pretty big network, and that network is high quality. And then the other thing is we also wanted to think about the user experience. Google Voice for Consumers has been in US for quite some time. And that product already has millions of users that really love the product. How many people in the room actually have used Google Voice? With, see, it's always like such a pleasure to see how many people use it and they've been using it. So we took those two assets. So we thought about the network, we thought about the user experience, and those are the ones which we brought together in order to create Google Voice for G Suite. But even so, we tested it carefully. Our alpha, we launched more than 18 months ago. Our beta, which we announced at next last year, has now been live for more than, more than six months. It has more than 650 customer, G Suite customers on it, thousands of users, and we, we have been using it and we have been testing it, and it means a lot to us, and we'll share with you later. So many of our beta customers are already converting to a commercial relationship with us, even before like we are launched now, but they have made that decision even before the launch and we'll be sharing some of those names with you. So as you heard this morning, Google Voice is generally available. It's generally available in 11 markets, so we are excited to bring this to you. And with Google Voice now, within G Suite, another exciting thing for us is that we are able to offer you a complete set of unified communication services with, with Gmail, with Google, with Hangouts Chat, Hangouts Meet, and Google Voice. Now you can address all of your communication needs within G Suite. With that, I want to quickly roll a video. It's the first time we are showing it publicly. Ajay, can we get this one going? Okay, thank you. The new Google Voice for G Suite is smart and puts you in control. It follows Google Calendar's working hours while powerful AI automatically transcribes voicemails and minimizes interruptions by silently blocking unwanted spam calls. And it works wherever you do, on desk phones, smartphones, and computers. And voice grows with your business. Admins add new users and assign numbers to one person or an entire department with just a few clicks. Users can tailor the voice apps across personal phones and work devices so they stay connected and in control from anywhere. And voice keeps things simple. When you get a call from Hangouts Meet, you can see what meeting is calling and be ready when you answer. And when it's time to unwind, you're still in control. Because sometimes disconnecting is the best way to connect. Okay. So that was a quick look at Google Voice, and we'll tell you more about it. Okay, so you know, so, so Google Voice is the cloud telephony solution for G Suite customers. With Google Voice, what we did was we took the user experience with so many millions of users already love for Google Voice for consumer, and we expanded it. We added desk phone support. Poly, Poly is here, so you know. So we added desk phone support starting with uh, Poly phones are our first ones. We added uh, integrations as you saw with Hangouts Chat. Um, if, if we added integrations with Meet and Calendar. Hangouts Chat we are working on; it will be coming soon. 
And then we created brand new admin capabilities. So within the G Suite admin console, you can go and manage enterprise telephony just like you would manage any other G Suite service. You can use it to provision numbers, to port numbers, to set up desk phones, to set up auto attendance. And then we also hardened the service. We made sure that it's fully telecom compliant. We are launching in 11 markets, and we are going to have support for emergency calling. We will follow all the other telecom regulations. In addition, we have the 24 by 7 support. We have the SLAs. We have the ISO 27001 compliance. We have the HIPAA compliance. So it's a fully hardened service. So that's the nuts and bolts of it. That's the Google, Google Voice for G Suite, which we have launched today. But one question which we often get is, what is our design philosophy? How have we approached voice so that we can create a differentiated, unique, modern experience for our customers? So we actually did not set out to create a MeToo PBX system that copies the features of these PBX systems, which have been in market for so, such a long time. Our design approach, our goals are twofold. First is we want to create a smarter voice through careful use of AI. And our second is we are really focused on creating delightful, simple experience for our customers, whether they are administrators or whether they are users. So in terms of Google AI in, and what we are doing with it in voice, if you think about it, voice is such a natural surface for text to speech and speech to text, where Google has some of the best in class AI. And spam, such a problem with voice over IP, is handled through machine learning data models. We use anonymized donated data from products such as Android, Google Fi, Google Voice for consumers, and we use that to identify spam and keep continuously improve our machine learning models. And just like Gmail, we take the spam and then we silently move it to a spam filter so users are not bothered and they can be productive. So Ajay will be telling you much more about these product, about what the product is and what we are doing within users, admins. So with that, Ajay, may I invite you? Yes, thank you. Thanks, Mitha. Um, so just to give you a quick tour, uh, we're going to talk about uh, the new admin experience, which a lot of our beta customers have seen. We'll talk about the user experience. And uh, hopefully, we'll show you some interesting demos along the way. So um, as Smitha outlined earlier, uh, we've really tried to make uh, the administration process for uh, voice really, really simple. It's consolidated in the admin console, which is where you manage all of G Suite. So you can come here to assign users numbers, port numbers, um, configure auto attendance, and so on. For those of you familiar with telecom in the audience, you'll know that there are a lot of variations in telecom across countries. And this is something we've worked really, really hard on with Google Voice, making that experience consistent so that provisioning a user with a phone number in France is the same as provisioning a user in the United States. One of the most challenging aspects of switching services, um, whether you're going on-prem to the cloud or moving between cloud services, is porting phone numbers. And so we've built that right into Google Voice. You come into the admin console, and you can tell us which numbers you want to port. Um, we keep you updated every step of the way, and we alert you if, if uh, things need to be addressed. One of our newest features since we announced Google Voice Beta last year is our multi-level auto attendant, which lets you guide callers to the right place, whether it's to a team or an individual or to a message. Our auto attendant supports um, working hours and uh, holiday hours, so you can make sure calls go to the right place, even if the business is closed. But the most exciting aspect about this is what we were talking about earlier with our approach to develop Google Voice. Our leading text-to-speech technology helps you set up an auto tenant really, really fast. All you need to do is type out the prompts and um, choose the language in which to play them back, and you're up and running. And this is a really, really big time saver because for people who have set these things up before, the normal process would have been record audio, potentially hire someone to do it, translate it, upload it, which can be you know, weeks or hours of time. And with our auto attendant, you really can get up and running in a matter of minutes. And we have a demo to show you 
um, later. We know that many of our customers um, use desk phones, so we're really excited that our partner, Polly, who's here today, uh, we've worked hard to bring these four models to Google Voice. And the VVX150 will be coming in a few weeks, but the other was work today. And um, the nice part about setting up desk phones with Google Voice is it's really simple. All you have to do is grab the MAC address of a device, put it in the admin console, it's set up, and you're up and running. Polly is actually here um, on the next exhibition floor, so check out their booth. We, they have some phones to show off. And if you need to go hands-free, we've also worked to, with top headset manufacturers to make sure they are compatible with not only Google Voice, but also Hangouts Meet. So if you're sitting at your desk with a headset, we want to make sure you have good audio quality, whether you're joining a meeting or placing a phone call. So that was a quick look at the admin experience, and we will show that to you in a demo. So let's take a look at uh, the user experience. Voice works on Android, iOS, and web. And what we've recently done is we've taken a user experience that's loved by billions, tried and tested in products like Drive and Gmail, and brought it to Google Voice. So material design, which is used across Google, has now been updated um, in Google Voice. And what this means is it's really quick to get started with Google Voice. We've seen uh, our beta customers and users really love the experience and have had no diffi difficulty getting started with using the product. One of the nice things about a number in the cloud, like with Google Voice, is it's not attached to any specific device. What this means is, end users can come in and customize their calling, which devices they use, while managing their work calls separately. They can even forward calls to different devices if they're not working from their normal location. And if you're sitting at your desk um, using Google Voice on the web, we've also added advanced audio controls. So you can customize the microphone and the, the speaker you use, and you can also choose where your calls ring. So if you're not wearing your headset, you don't miss any calls. Google Voice has always had best-in-class voicemail transcription, and we've had it for, since the very beginning. What we're really excited to announce is we've expanded the set of languages from two to the full set of launch countries that we are uh, announcing with Google Voice today. And our voicemail transcription is, again, powered by our leading speech-to-text, which means since it's machine learning and AI-based, it means it's constantly improving over time. So you can get voicemail transcripts in the app. You can also quickly toggle in settings uh, to have your transcripts sent directly to your Gmail inbox. And then there's spam. You saw earlier in, uh, in the video how we block spam calls. Um, some sources today um, state that over 50% of calls in the U US are robocalls. And this is a problem that's under increasing focus, even with the FCC. So our spam models are trained by anonymized data used across Google. And um, Google Voice uses these spam models automatically. For end users, the experience is pretty similar to Gmail. If we detect that a phone call is spam, we send it directly to a special folder, and your day is not interrupted by a robocall. So uh, that was a quick look at the admin and end user experience. So let's uh, jump to a quick demo. Let's do it. OK, Ajay, what are we doing? We're setting up Tom? Yeah, yeah so, so. Yeah, so we're doing it. Yeah, so we have a group. We have, we have a group called Huli Group, which manages our events. And um, we're managing our events at Next. And uh, we feel like maybe we're getting too many complaints. So we, has, we got a new employee, Tom, and we are setting Tom up with a phone number and the desk phone that works, so we don't have to deal with it. Tom deals with it, so let's do it. So let me set up Tom with the phone number, and I'll click Edit. And you'll see that the experience is pretty similar for, for assigning him a number in any country. I'm going to give him a US number, though, and type in a service address, which will be used um, for his emergency calling. And you'll see that voice is automatically assigning him a number. I could change it, but I'm just going to go ahead and pick the default. Yeah. Yeah. And so Tom gets an email with his phone number, and he's up and running. 
Yeah, so this is what we were saying is with, the, with Google Voice, you can really manage enterprise telephony, just like G Suite. You literally, 30 seconds to set up that number. Can we also show the batch functionality? Yeah, so let me jump to a spreadsheet. So this is um, what you're seeing here is a list of users who um, we, the, an administrator would have assigned phone numbers to. You can see the country uh, drop down here and their service address. And when you upload the spreadsheet, uh, they're assigned phone numbers. Yeah, so I think this is cool when you have to assign phone numbers to a large set of users. And this uses Google Spreadsheets. And what's really interesting is that any errors are returned in the same spreadsheet, and they are highlighted and marked, as you're seeing over here. So an administrator can just correct those errors in the same spreadsheet and submit it back. So our beta customers have been really loving this functionality. It really streamlines the capabilities. All right. Should we, uh, do you think Tom is going to be sitting at, at his desk? Yes, I think, uh, I think he will be, <laughs> yes. <laughs> so let's give him a desk phone. So I've got a MAC address of this phone up here. So Tom already had the email, which would have him help him set up with whatever, for this iOS client, Android client, web client, but now we're also giving him a desk phone, which is also connected to the cloud, so he can literally like, use any device anywhere. So actually, I'm going to use his number later, so I'm going to copy it. OK. Oops. So now Tom is set up with this particular device, with this, and that's his phone number, which was assigned to him just a couple of minutes earlier, or a minute earlier by a check. So, okay. so let's jump into the auto attendant. We've got one partially set up for today. So now this is the interactive voice response, which we had mentioned, how we are using text-to-speech AI in order to set up, uh, to, to enable our customers to set up auto attendant instantly. So um, we want someone to handle complaints about yes, this session. <laughs> yes. But Tom's super new. Should we, should we really have him do that? Yes, we should. That's why we got him. <laughs> so what I can do is uh, I can transfer calls to Tom. Yes, please, yes. And um, should we give it a try? Let's give it a try. So what you're seeing here is I'm, when I click preview, um, we actually haven't published the auto attendant yet, which is really nice because a lot of times you want to make changes without them being live first. So uh, this is not published, but we can still test it out. So let me do that. Thanks for calling Huli Group at Cloud Next. Merci d'avoir appelé Huli Group au Cloud Next. French. To make the most of this event, please listen to the following options. To have Huli Group set up your next product demonstration, press 1. To get a free cocktail this evening, press 2. For complaints about this session, press Who oh, doesn't I want a free cocktail? Like to get a free drink this evening. Here are a couple of options. For a free drink, press 1. Press star to repeat this menu. Press the pound key to re There are two ways to get a free drink. You can visit the Poly booth at South 1419 and they might <laughs> invite you to an event this evening. The other way is to order a drink at the hotel bar and charge it to your colleague's room number. Now, press hash to return to the main menu. Oh, to make the most of this event, please listen to the following options. To have Huli Group set up your next product demonstration, press 1. To get a free cocktail this evening, press 2. For complaints about this session, press 3. Can we jump to the phone? Can we switch to the phone at the back? Here we go. Yes. So I'm Tom. I'm Tom. OK. So this, this was the phone which Ajay had just provisioned earlier in the, in the demo. So, and he just provisioned the auto attendant. And you can see how instantly and fast it all comes together to create the experience. <laughs> Thank you. Hmm. All right, I th we can switch back to the slides, I think. OK. So um, Smitha talked earlier about how voice has joined um, Hangouts Chat, Hangouts Meet, and Gmail to, f to complete our unified communication solution. 
And so I wanted to talk a little bit about how we're bringing voice into G Suite and show you a few examples of things we're working on. One of the things we're focused on with G Suite is digital well-being. Uh, the Google Voice team is actually spread across three offices. We collaborate a lot with other teams. They're spread across the globe, which means that teams are always working around the clock depending on the working hours. And with people commuting and traveling, this is even more of a problem. So we want to give people ways to disconnect when they're not working. So Voice integrates with Google Calendar to allow you to do just that. If you're not working, um, if you're out of the office, or if you're outside of your working hours, you can have your phone calls sent directly to voicemail. Hangouts Chat is our team messaging product. Uh, we use it a lot at Google pretty heavily, but sometimes when you're having a disagreement or you really need to jump on the phone to resolve it, you can jump right from a text-based conversation to a phone-based conversation right from the top. We know a lot of our G Suite users spend a lot of their day in Gmail. Uh, last year, we introduced a sidebar that allows you to access applications like Calendar, Keep, um, and Tasks right from within Gmail without switching browser tabs. So we're really excited to be bringing voice into this experience so you can jump right from an email to a phone call. Uh, this is coming soon, and we will show you this in a demo also. Uh, you've heard a lot about Hangouts Meet, uh, including for those of you who attended the session pre um, right before this one. Uh, calling in Hangouts Meet is already powered by Google Voice, dial-in, and then that includes dial-in and dial-out. We'll be expanding uh, this support to additional countries using the infrastructure and the billing support that we've added with Google Voice. And one of the things we're trying to do with voice is to bring context into phone calls so people have information before they pick up the phone. So Hangouts Meet integrates with Google Voice. So when a meeting calls a voice user, you have important information like the meeting name and meeting details on the caller ID. So when someone picks up the phone, they know right where to pick up. So let's jump to another quick demo. Yes. So you can see um, I am talking with Tom, our newly added employee. Um, and if I wanted to jump on a phone call, I could just uh, jump on a phone call. I'm not going to actually call him right now. Uh, this is our integration with Gmail, uh, bringing voice into the Gmail experience. Uh, you can see it's optimized for this sidebar, so you can see call history on the right side. If I was to click a phone call, I would see suggestions, and, and I could call right Tom right from here. I'm sorry, sorry to bother you, Tom. <laughs> um, and finally, I wanted to show um, what we have with Hangouts Meet. So you can see uh, this is a meeting uh, that we had previously scheduled. When you schedule a meeting, um, it automatically comes with a dial-in number and a PIN. Um, and you can see that it's scheduled on calendar. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go ahead and jump in and join the meeting. And you can see some of our colleagues are actually in the back in the meeting. So um, I'm just going to grab a phone number here. Um, and so we know that sometimes you can't join over video, and sometimes you need to actually uh, call people in. So let me add someone by phone and dial them in. So if, you switch to, if we switch to the phone, you can see that we know that it's a meeting calling. We know the title of the meeting. It's on the caller ID. And when I was, if I were to pick up the phone, I'm prepared and, and ready to go. So that's uh, Voice with Hangouts Meet, and that's Voice Integrated with G Suite. We switch back to the slides. So to, to sum up, Voice is simple, smart, and scalable. We've been adding enterprise features to Google Voice at a pretty rapid clip, and we've focused on making the experience for end users and admins really, really simple. Uh, with AI, we've brought context and automation to the telephony experience, and we've made it super simple to uh, provision 10 users or an organization of 10,000. Um, Voice is built on a robust, intelligent platform that powers all telephony at Google. You heard Smitha talk earlier about 
how billions of calls are already running on this platform. Um, what's more is we're leveraging um, the, the investment that Google's made in submarine fiber and our data centers to ensure that the maximum amount uh, traffic traverses Google's network for the maximum amount of time. And what this means is uh, this ensures high quality um, for a large majority of our traffic. Um, we have built-in spam and fraud monitoring in the platform. These are technologies that have been used by Google Search and Google Ads for many years and have been hardened in those products. We're inheriting a lot of the benefits that those products have, have laid out before us. And this is a complete telephony pl platform. Um, it's got local numbers. It's got number portability. We support emergency dialing, short codes, messaging in the platform. So we're really built um, on a platform that's ready to scale when you are. Um, and finally, uh, Smitha mentioned earlier, voice is a core service. Um, so that, what that means is it comes with the same uh, compliance, security, and service levels that you're used to with G Suite. So um, you saw a lot of uh, what's in the product today. I wanted to give you a brief preview of what's coming ahead. Um, so we're working on ring groups and uh, call transfer. We'll be continuing to expand our hardware support with more common area devices, as well as headsets and accessories. And you saw a lot of the integrations that we have with G Suite. Um, more of those will be coming as well. So let me hand back to Smitha to talk about a little bit about customers that have been using um, voice and beta, as well as how to get started. Great. Thank you, Ajay. So I hope this has piqued your interest, and I hope you'll consider starting with Google Voice. And if you do, you'll be in great company. Dow Jones, they've been an alpha tester with us, a beta, beta tester, and now they are going, they're going to be a launch, they are a launch partner with us, so they are using Google Voice now within their organization. I think we saw, did we see Corey and Gavin here? Gavin, yes, okay. Hi, guys, thank you. Okay, so Dow Jones, and then Nielsen. Nielsen is another one of our customers that's been working with us for a long time. And look at what Nielsen calls out, reliability and call quality over existing solutions in market. And they have experienced this with day one with Google Voice. City of Edmonton, which is, of course, a government, you know, it's a government entity. This is Canada. They are, they are taking Google Voice. So they are really excited to get Google Voice but it, because it streamlines the calling experience through all of the different applications and gives them a solution which they were looking for. Portland State University, education customer. Again, they have also been working with us for some time. And they, they are specifically calling out how easy and simple and fast it has been to deploy and manage Google Voice. Also want to call out ZPG, which is a real estate technology provider. They are in UK. They are actually standardizing on Google Voice for all of their new hires. So as you can see, all of these launch customers, they span multiple markets. I've mentioned US, UK, and Canada, and different verticals. So we talked about government. We talked about education. We talked about real estate. So we are looking at a variety of, we are really seeing interest across the board for Google Voice. We see that from small customers, mid-sized customers, large customers. So, the, so phones, as we said before, are universal. So in terms of the launch customers, beyond the ones I mentioned to you, these are all of the other customers which have already signed launch contracts with us. So you can again see we are, we are gratified. And I, we believe this is the best endorsement of the product if customers choose to go forward with you. I mean, we can say what we want, but the customers are the ones experiencing the product. So in terms of the product itself, as I said before, Voice, the need for voice, we see that across all sizes of customers, small, medium, large. Voice is, voice is available as of today as an add-on to G Suite. We are offering voice in three different tiers, starter, standard, and premier. Starter is for really small businesses who want to get the peace of mind of SLA support, all of the requirements they would want for their business phone. Standard is if you are within one country, and you're looking for local numbers within a country, that's when you get really all of the cloud telephony features uh, for, for any size organization. So you get, the, you get desk phones, you get uh, auto attendant, you get support for, so you get desk phones, you get, uh, you get the auto attendant, you'll get the ring groups over time, so you get all of those features. And if you're a large customer, 
If you have offices in multiple countries, which means you want local numbers in multiple markets, then Premier is the addition which you would take. And in this case, you also get advanced features like being able to export your call data records to BigQuery tables so you can do more analysis. All of our plans, we, we have transparent pricing. Uh, there are no gotchas. They come with a lot of value built in. So we, we offer unlimited calling between all Google Voice numbers. We have unlimited inbound and outbound calling in US and Canada. And inbound calling is free in all markets. Uh, beyond that, there is a rate card per minute, which we publish and will be available to everyone at, at cost. So that's the pricing which we, which we are offering. That's how you know the three tiers. In terms of availability in the, in the markets, voice as of now, as of this morning, is available in the eight markets which you are seeing. And then it's coming within this month into Canada, Ireland, and Netherlands. And then we are also showing the next wave which we are exploring for the countries which we are, which we are going into. We have been working with a fantastic set of G Suite partners already. So these partners have been enabled, they have been trained on voice, they are already working with several of our launch customers and beta customers. So these partners are ready, feel free to work with any of them, or if they are partners you would like to work with, please let us know and we'll be happy to work with you to add them to the G Suite uh, voice program. So I think this is pretty much wraps up our presentation. Much more information is available here, so please go and take a look. But I think we have a good amount of time for questions, so we would love to take your questions.